it is the um, most exciting moment for the EV sector nowadays in China. So uh, growth momentum very strong, outlook very positive, backed by supportive policies, su a supply side push, and also most importantly, customer acceptance. So based on our being a study this year, we have found that actually the Chinese customers acceptance to the EV is leading the global sort of trends. And also we see that it's increasing continuously. So put that aside for sure, given the EV is an insurgency in this market, there are lots of challenges faced by the OEMs today as well, right? Uh, uh, regulation is just one of them. So consolidation, if we look at this in a more holistic way, I would say that uh, consolidation is an inevitable trend in this um, industry, given the nature of, the, of this industry, uh, very capital incentive, tech heavy and also large scale of economy. Historically, we have seen invisible hands like the market and also visible trends, uh, regulations, navigated the industries through the consolidation trend continuously. But why, if it's such a strong industry, why is Beijing wanting to clamp down on the space and say, hey, you're getting too big, we want you smaller if it's prospering so much? And, and on that basis as well, how significantly do you expect that Beijing would want to shrink the sector by? So I, th I believe that the uh, fundamental driver behind is promote a healthy and very sort of high quality development of the EV sector industry nowadays in China, right? Toward the end, if we look at the history, um, the auto sort of OEMs at the end need to be consolidated to be a very large and very sort of high quality uh, OEMs in the market. That's where the government or the regulators try to push at this moment. So during the conversation, during the uh, sort of the uh, uh, comment, it also mentioned that it should be a market oriented development going forward. OK, where do you see consolidation then across the sector and what form would consolidation take? Will we see some players uh, just give up on their electric dreams or uh, will we see mergers between what names and what names do you think will likely survive and which won't? This is a very good question. Given that the EV sector itself is still insurgent, I believe that it might be a little bit too early to tell which brand or which name will win at the end. If we going back to the business logic fundamentals, I would say those who can provide most innovative products, offer uh, most uh, superior sort of customer services and also uh, provide um, lots of sort of uh, disruptive uh, innovations in the market will survive or will win at the end.